Texas and Governor Greg Abbott are making it no secret they're putting in more razor wire at the southern border just days after the U.S. Supreme Court gave the go-ahead to the federal government to remove the wire. In a lengthy statement, Governor Greg Abbott is reiterating arguments he cited before, asserting that the federal government has fallen short of its constitutional duties to protect the southern border. He's specifically citing U.S. Constitution Article 1, Section 10, Clause 3, which says in part, no state shall without the consent of Congress keep true in time of peace unless actually invaded. Governor Abbott has said the state is being invaded. The question is, would the courts agree? It's not the kind of invasion that they were thinking of in 1787 or that any sensible person would think about today. While the federal government is beginning to remove those razor wires at the southern border, there's still one key spot that remains in limbo. Shelby Park and Eagle Pass. The Texas National Guard has effectively stopped Border Patrol from accessing the area, prompting new legal concerns. Critics have called on the president to federalize the National Guard or effectively take control, something that is within his power. Earlier this week, White House officials said there are no plans to do that at the moment. We can disagree on the use of the National Guard and other even state assets for the way the uh, Governor Abbott is, is treating that border. We certainly disagree from a policy perspective, but legally he is by you know by authority the, as the state commander in chief of the National Guard. Importantly, both sides have stopped short of open hostility, though the dynamic is certainly fraught. Yeah, I think both sides have been very careful to not let it escalate beyond essentially a war of words between people far, far, you know, higher above the pay grade than the than the soldiers on the ground.